All right, it's time for an unboxing. So, this is one engine that I've sort of been after for a little while. I don't know how long I've been after for. If that made any sense, I don't know. But it is one that I've always wanted, and I finally have it. And uh, before I do get to uh, the unboxing, I do want to give a quick update. I have two main lines officially. Uh, it's official now, isn't it? I uh, posted on a community tab uh, a couple days ago, and I posted it on Instagram too. So, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know about that first before we get into it. All right. Now, let's get right to it. All right, now get my very famous uh, blade out. I'm pretty sure it's the most famous blade now on my channel. Right now. <laughs> All right, got that done. Come on. Gotcha. All right. Now. Is there peanuts in here? Nope, but there's bubble wrap. Alright. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the most loved Thomas and Friends character ever made. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't anyone agree? <laughs> okay then. So here we have here is arguably the most loved Thomas and Friends character in the Hornby range. It is, of course, Emily. The <clears throat> Dean single. Well, that's what Hornby told it as. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys will not like this model at all. And uh, I do understand that. Because Emily is not based on a Dean single. She is based on a Sterling single. If you all know your Thomas and Friends stuff. Yep. There's the instructions. I'm pretty much forgetting to look at these uh, for some reason. Yep. Alright. Alright. Now, let's get her tender out if I can get it in shot. Alright. And there's her tender. Wow, I don't think it really does have a mark. It does have plastic wheels, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why Hornby made it that way. But yeah, there's uh, Emily Sender. I did hear she has removable coal. Yes, she does. They ain't lying. <laughs> Alright, there's Emily Sender. Now, Emily herself. Come here, you. Wow. Look at that. Is she brand new? Wow. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I see a single mark on the wheels. How bizarre. It looks like she is brand new. <laughs> Paul Styring here. Yeah. That is Emily. I know a lot of you are, are gonna hate her so much. <sighs> But please bear in mind, I do, I've always wanted this engine. I really have. Hey, there's detail on the cab. What do you know? But yeah, I've always wanted a Hornby Emily. Um, she is a pretty rare model. She's pretty hard to find now. Um, I paid a lot for her. I paid like over $260 for this engine. But I managed to win it in an auction on eBay. But yeah, and I am pretty much happy to have her now. Right. Alright, we'll look at Emily running in a second, but let's see if there's any... I don't think there is spare details and whatnot. I don't think so. I don't know why I... I don't know why I thought there would be. Alright, get this place cleaned up. And we will give Emily a test run. Back of the box. Not much to say. I have Thomas. I have Percy already. Percy I just got recently. I got James. I got Gordon. And uh, I got D261. But he's not on here. But yeah. I should get Duck, Toby, uh, Bill, and Ben. I would love to get uh, those four. Pretty much my goal is to collect uh, as many 
uh, Hornby uh, Thomas models as possible. Although I cannot promise I will do that because some of them are so rare they are hard to find. Not to mention the price is shot up. Like uh, Spencer, I do plan on getting him eventually. I'd love to get him at some point. But Murdoch, who Murdoch is extremely rare. He's the rarest of them all. And the price on him has shot up big time. Uh, last time, he's on... Uh, He's up on eBay by an uh, Australian eBayer, and at the moment, last time I checked, he's already going at almost $800, and that's US money, bear in mind. And the last time he was on there before that, there was an Australian eBayer, not Australian eBayer, I mean, uh, an eBayer from the UK, I believe. He sold a Murdoch model, and it went for $3,000. I kid you not, $3,000 in auction on eBay and it was sold right away. Murdoch is definitely something that I may not be able to get my hands on at all. So if you guys requested Murdoch, I am sorry, I won't be able to get Murdoch. So that's a little small disclaimer I have to make there. All right, a little small rant out of the way. Let's get Emily and her tender together. Nice. Like as like I keep saying, I know this this will bug a lot of people, but uh, trust me, you know it's a it's a she's a good model, you know it doesn't really matter to me. I mean I have a I have the Riverossi Chessy, and they base that model off of the uh, Empire State Express tooling, whereas real L1 Chesapeake and Ohio uh, Hudson, it is nowhere near like the Empire State Express Hudson. <laughs> so yeah, I still love it though, still love it. Right. Oh, disconnected the tender from Emily. Let's put her on her track and we'll give her a break. So Emily is going to be running uh, the opposite direction this time because uh, why not? And the tender is free rolling. I love that. All right. Now let's put Emily on tracks. Sorry, Dash 9. All right, she is on. Now let's couple the tender with her. Sweet. She is coupled. All right. I bought this brand new. Let's give her a break in. Let's see if you'll move. Yes, you will. All right. Nice. Yeah, she is definitely going to be a keeper. Mm. I'm so happy with this already. And I think the reason why she might be stuttering a bit, I don't think it's her fault. I think it's the track or how it's probably laid. It's maybe a bit my fault. I may have to do a small bit of modification to it, so that may explain why she started a bit like you just saw now. But yeah, don't worry about it too much, I'll uh, think of another way, so yeah. I should say with the current draw on Emily, it's non-existent pretty much. So Emily is pretty much a free agent. Yeah. I'm really happy with her. I am. So right now I'm putting Emily on the rolling road for now. And uh, I am using the evil controller, even though I promised myself I wouldn't use this. But uh, only for now, this is for the uh, uh, broken in period, so I'm going to let Emily do that for a little while, and uh, I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Alright, running in has been completed. Let's see how you're feeling. Not too bad. Alright, good. So... 
while Emily was running in, I was uh, pretty much away for a little while, although I did check on her a little bit here and there. But uh, she seems to be fine. You know, with her being brand new at all, just want her to at least run more smoothly to not burn out the motor. Because uh, it's what you gotta do on a bunch of Hornby stuff. And her slow speed performance is not that bad. All right. Sweet. And she runs nice and smooth. All right. Sweet. All right, so I'm running Emily on the inside, I mean, outside line. And uh, I don't know if it's true, but I did read on a, I did hear from a, a few YouTubers that she is not a very good puller at all. <laughs> so I do hope she can manage these uh, three coaches uh, no problem. Because she does not have traction tires, not to mention she isn't really that heavy. So we'll just have to see. If she can't manage three, then uh, I'll just take one off. All right, now she's got three. And on the inside line, I have Thomas. And let's set Thomas off. There he goes. And let's set Emily off. But Thomas just set her. All right, she can manage it. Sweet. Yeah, I have a feeling Thomas is gonna like the switches, or uh, maybe the Hornby trains better. Emily seems to go through them fine, but I don't think Thomas is. Yeah, I'm very happy to have two main lines. It's really fun to run some trains in the opposite directions from time to time. And if Thomas will stop stuttering, I'll be very happy. I think I might have to stop him around. Uh, and I think a lot of you may notice that Emily's uh, getting a bit wobbly. I think that's her weight and how um, she's designed since that. Well, she does have a pilot truck. Uh, that's probably how she's designed. So. It's pretty common for her to be that way, I guess. But yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, I figured I'd stop Thomas since uh, he's still very stuttery. Well, that'll about uh, wrap it up for uh, today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly have fun making it. I especially enjoyed unboxing Emily. I'm really glad I finally have her now. Since that, uh, she's another uh, great addition to the collection. And uh, another great addition to my rare Thomas and Friends model. Even though her and D261 are pretty much the only rare ones uh, that I have. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.